Happy 4th of July to you all. And we're going to do the daily reading. I'm sorry again for skipping out a couple days not doing it. it. I feel bad not doing it. So we're going to do it right now while I have time. Need to make more time for this. So the first reading for July 4th. Tuesday of the 13th week of Ordinary Time. First reading, Generations 19, 15 through 29. As dawn was breaking, the angels urged a lot on saying on your way take with your sorry hold on a second take with you your wife and your two daughters who are here or you will be swept away in the punishment of sodom when he hesitated the men by the lord's mercy seized his hand and the hands of his wife and his two daughters and led them to safety outside the city as soon as they had been brought outside he was told flee for your life do not look back or stop anywhere or the pain on the plane sorry i'm i'm kind of messing this up i don't know why <laughs> um get off to the hills at once or you will be swept away oh no my lord lot replied you have already taught enough of your servants to do me the greatest kindness of intervening to save my life but i cannot flee to the hills to keep the disaster from overtaking me and so i shall die look this town ahead is near enough to escape to you it's only a small place. Let me flee there. It's a small place, is it not? That my life may be saved. Well then, he replied, I will also grant you the favor you now ask. I will not overthrow the town you speak of. Hurry, escape there. I cannot do anything until you arrive there. This is why the town is called Zor. The sun was just rising above the earth as Lot arrived to Zor. At the same time, the Lord rained down um, sulfurous fire upon Sodom and Gomorrah, for the Lord out of heaven, from the Lord out of heaven. He overthrew those cities and the whole plain, together with the inhabitants of the cities and the produce of the soil. But Lot's wife looked back, and she was turned into a pillar of salt. Early the next morning, Abraham went to the place where he had stood in the Lord's presence. As he looked down toward Sodom and Gomorrah and the whole region of the plain, he saw dense smoke over the land, rising like fumes from a furnace. Thus it came to pass. When God destroyed the cities of the plain, he was mindful of Abraham by mind sending Lot away from the upheaval, by which God overthrew the cities where Lot had been living. Alleluia, alleluia. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. Alleluia, alleluia. And the final reading today will be the Gospel of Matthew 8, 28 through, I mean, sorry, 8, 23 through 27. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly a violent storm came upon up upon the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by waves. But he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us. We are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O oh, you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? And I can answer that. That's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and he is much more than just a man. I give him thanks and praise for his glory and salvation that he offers, and I accept it. And I think we all should too, definitely. Peace be with you all, and have a great 4th of July. Even if you don't celebrate the 4th in America, I hope you just have a great summer.